I have several videos here on YouTube that show how to diagnose and repair air suspension system problems, which is why Vigor Air Suspension Systems just sent me brand new air ride shocks for my Yukon Denali to provide an unbiased review of. Now, I, in this video, I'm going to compare Vigor Air Shocks to three other brands that I've used in the past. I'm also going to show them how to install them on a Denali and then I'm going to take them on a 2,500 mile road trip to see how they hold up. If you'd like to purchase the products that I'm using today, you can buy them at VigorAirRide.com. Now these are an OEM fit product and they have uh, been in business for 20 years. There are three different types of air shocks that I have used in the past. And to be honest, I've never really been 100% satisfied with any of them. Uh, the first of course would be the OEM shocks that are made by AC Delco. Those I think provide the best ride of the three that I've used before. Um, they're a quality product. The problem is the cost. They are very, very, very expensive. And when you, by the time your system fails the first time, you've probably already got 150,000 miles on your truck. In my case, I had 200,000. And so you don't really want to go and put something quite that expensive into a vehicle that's already, you know, high up in miles. So. I'm not a big fan of going that route simply for the cost. Uh, the next kind that I've used are, are these, and these are from Suncor Industries. If you've seen my other video where I show how to diagnose issues with these problems, you'll see that I have a little rant in that video about why I don't like Suncor Industries. My, uh, one of my shocks failed after I want to say only one month of being on my vehicle and then I had a horrendous time. I could not get in touch with the company uh, to warranty my product and so I don't recommend using Suncor Industries. Now full disclosure, after my video came out, they did eventually get in contact with me and they sent me this one to warranty my other one. Of course, I had already replaced it with an r not shot at shock at that time. Now r not is the third company I've used in the past. And uh, I'd say they were sort of that middle of the road uh, that, you know, I, the products were the right price, but in my opinion, I thought that the ride wasn't as good as OEM. Uh, with or not, my shocks just, uh, my suspension felt kind of squishy. Um, it was tolerable, but at one point, this was a flagship vehicle made by GM that, um, you know, had the best ride available in an SUV, and with the R not shocks, I did not feel like that was true. Uh, they have held up though, and so uh, up until today, that's what I would always recommend. Today, let's see if these new things are any better. On the left, these are Vigor. On the right, Suncor Industry. Off the bat, you can see that they look a little different. It looks like uh, Vigor has a larger airbag. Uh, I'd say that even looks larger than OEM, if I remember right. Um, I also am noticing that where the air flows in, this is a plastic piece. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. With the plastic, the good thing is, is that it won't rust, and I have had these rust on in the past. Uh, they tend to get some moisture and corrosion in there, so this one won't do that. So as long as that plastic doesn't ever get brittle and break, that would be a good thing. Um, a lot, much better paint work on this. Uh, perhaps a little less beefy at the top. Uh, where the that style has a whole lot more metal around it and this is steel not painted let's get them on the car i'm going to show how to do this on the passenger side because it's a little more difficult than the driver's side so i've got this vehicle raised and safely supported by jack stands and the tires off now on the passenger side this inner fender liner needs to come off. Uh, you can probably get by without removing it on the driver's side. To remove this fender liner, there's going to be some screws to remove 
Um, and also some plastic clips that will need pried out. This is the airline here. There's just a little plastic clip that needs to be pulled back. Preferably without breaking it. Got that pulled back. Now let's we'll just pull off. There went the air from the system. Now the electrical connector, you just pull up on the top tab and then it pulls out. Both top and bottom bolts are 21 millimeter. I decided to remove the bottom first. Just since it's easier. It helps to put a jack underneath the rear axle. That way you can move it up and down to get those bolts out. To remove this, you need to get a, something on the other side of this and then pull it out. And there's a whole bunch of uh, lines in the way for the rear AC. Uh, so I'm going to use an extension and uh, try to feed this in from the other side. Got my extension and ratchet on the back side there now to install the new ones just going to put it right back in there the way the other one was In. The torque specs on both the top and the bottom is 85 foot pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench, you're probably not going to over tighten these, so uh, just get them good and tight. And then all it is is putting the fender and the tire back on, lowering the car, and doing the exact same stuff on the other side. So one of the best things about living on a dirt road that is in dire need of grading is that it is the perfect place to test drive new air shocks. And what can I say, I am kind of blown away at the moment. So I just got out here just trying these out and immediately, immediately, the ride is better than what I had before. Now. I, I feel like there's a little bit of a risk that people are going to say that I'm biased in this because I was provided these shocks for free, but I really have no reason that I have to say that they improved my uh, ride. This road that I'm on right now, you may not be able to tell it on camera, but it is very rough, very, very, very rough, and this thing's just, I mean, it's, it's just gliding over it, gliding, but at the same time, it's not 
like you know that boat feeling where you just kind of feel like you're rocking the whole time that car sickness type feel that's what this had before and it doesn't have it now this thing feels like it did back when it was original back when it had oem shocks on it the ride is stiffer in the back uh, there's there's just no doubt before i really complained that it felt spongy with those remanufactured shocks and with these it just it feels like it's soaking up the bumps uh, but at the same time it doesn't have that squishy boat like feeling that i had before and so I'm, I'm really really happy at the moment now i have no idea oh there's a big bump uh now i have no idea if this will last uh you know so that's why i am going to go ahead and i'm going to take this thing on a 2500 mile plus road trip uh i'm in arkansas right now in washtaw mountains and we're going to drive this thing all the way out to northern new mexico and then down to southern new mexico through white sands national park and then all the way home from there and round trip it should take us 35 36 hours plus and i feel like in that amount of time if i was going to have problems with these shocks uh they're probably going to show up then because there's going to be a everything from mountain roads to uh off road on the sand off road here on this, this red dirt roads uh highway driving all of the above and we're going to find out uh if if these are shocks that i will recommend because at the moment i am giving these two thumbs up there is no doubt that these are riding better than what i had on there before absolutely no doubt it's not a game it's a ranch thing It was a long, thrilling trip with lots of mini adventures along the way. And now that I'm back, my opinion of the Vigor Air Shops has not changed. I experienced no problems, they're still holding air, and still providing an excellent ride. When Vigor contacted me, I have to admit, I had doubts about quality since I had never heard of them. But they assured me their products are superior to both Arnott and Suncor while being less expensive than AC Delco. And now, I agree with them. That's exactly what these are. I hope this video helped you. If it did, would you mind helping me by clicking the subscribe button? I appreciate you.